Hey, welcome back to Mama Tried. Today we are doing a baby shower prep. So this is actually two days before my baby shower. I'm having my baby shower at my friend Megan's house. So luckily we were able to start prepping pretty early, which was so helpful. So I created all of these little activities on Canva and then I printed them on cardstock and just stuck them in these little acrylic stands that I got from my mother-in-law. She owns a dance studio, so she comes in clutch with all kinds of different event things that I may need. I got this cute little banner on Amazon. It was super affordable and cute. I just forgot to get some command hooks, so that's why I didn't put it up yet, but I was just going to put it up behind the activity table, and we're gonna push the table back just a little bit. So this was my first time doing a charcuterie board of this size, or actually a brunch board. That's the theme that I decided to go with since my shower is at 11. So I got this butcher paper off of Amazon. I will link it, and it will also be in my Amazon on storefront but I just laid it out two days before like I was saying and now I'm putting together all of the little holders and things for the food and plates and all of that and I'm just going to take a sharpie marker and write out exactly where I want everything so that way the morning of the shower whenever I have people helping they can just put the food exactly where it goes and there's no question and that way it'll just be super simple to have people help me without me being completely hands-on doing everything because if you know anything about me I'm a little bit of a control freak I like things to be perfect so this was a really good way to have everything how I wanted it but also get some help this time around so this was very easy and I highly recommend doing it this way. And it actually didn't cost as much as I thought that it would. Every time I went to the store, I just picked up just a little something extra or something that I thought would be cute. Of course, it took some planning, but it was definitely a lot more affordable than catering. So, so far today we worked on the brunch board. Look at these two cuties back here. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, Willow. <laughs> Willow and Lexi have been super entertained. And I did, well, we're doing a little coffee bar. Megan is doing a coffee bar. And I did a little brunch board thing. So I just kind of like marked everything where it needs to go and I'm about to roll it back up. And that way, whenever there are people helping put together the brunch board, they know where everything's at and it's super easy cleanup. So I think that's gonna be fun. So I've got this set up and then tomorrow we're going to work on the balloon arch here. This is going to be like an activity table for things to do. This is going to be hung up up there. I've got to get some command strips and I just have like little activities for people to do. And then we're going to put a gift table right here with this and like a cheesecloth little runner on it. It's going to be so cute. At Target with my girl. I got a brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso, some egg bites for me and Luxie. That's just one. I got another one and a cake pop for her. Not yet. And she's got her little uh, made good bites in water. I'm here for command strips, but of course we got to get all our Target stuff, yeah. our Starbucks stuff. Lexi's getting this activity while we um, finish decorating for the shower today. And I picked up my Target baby registry welcome gift. So I'll open that in the car with you guys. I'm excited. It looks better than the last one that I got with Lexi. Yeah. The command strip market is like insane. Like for these little things, it's $10, crazy. So, so far I have this little activity for Lexi to do while we're decorating for the shower. And then I grabbed two more of these because I love them. I'll link them for you guys. I use this in my pantry and I want one in Lexi's room and one in Lincoln's room. I may even put one in each of our closets too, me and Stefano. And then I want to get this because I have an idea for all of Lexi's like learning activities and homeschool stuff and I want to be able to stack them but I don't know how it's going to fit on my shelf so I'm just going to buy one and then if it works out I'll get some more online because we don't live close to a Target so that's what I have for now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at this girl. These for the nursery to organize 
in um, his dresser. So I got these little trays. These are only $2 each. So I'm gonna see how I can use these to organize too. I'm just on an organizing and nesting spree right now. Come on. Taking a picture. Get out. Me. This really is our world. We're just living in it. It's finding new ways to ride on the cart that aren't actually riding in the cart. <laughs> All right, we are leaving Target and I wanted to share everything that came in the welcome baby kit while I'm here. So this looks like a really good little kit. It comes with some Lansano breastfeeding little booby pads, a sample of Druft. I don't plan on using it, but it smells so good so I might wash something in it. Um, some triple paste, triple protection paste. Aw, oh, some bibs, passies. I'm having a boy, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this pink one, but that's super cute. And some different wipes, some honest wipes, some Huggies, oop, Huggies Natural Care. And then some Huggies Special Delivery Diapers. Some gripe water and a coupon for gripe water. I love this stuff, I loved it with Luxie. It looks like an um, an Avent bottle, which is what I'm using. This go around, I used it for Luxie too and loved it. Some aqua Aquaphor samples, love Aquaphor. Some water wipes, and then a sample of this Johnson's Cotton Touch. I love the way that this smells, and it doesn't have all of the har harmful ingredients that the other Johnson and Johnson products have, but. That looks like it was everything, and then this might be a coupon book. Let me see. Oh, it just says stuff about the Target registry. So that was everything in the Welcome Baby Kit. That is really good. They've definitely upgraded it since Lexi was a baby. It's got a lot more goodies in there now. But that was everything. Now it's time to go to Costco. the best place for produce. This is where I get it for every party. Mama is the best. I got two of them for the shower. I did it. All right, we're done at Costco. Now we need to go to Fresh because I need to find some cupcakes. I'm surprised that Costco doesn't do cupcakes. And then um, I need to still find some quiche because Costco used to carry this quiche and they don't anymore. So now I have to go searching for it because it's like the perfect thing for the brunch board and I can't live without it. I stop. This basket for Megan because she has been such a big help with the shower. She's doing so much. So I got this basket, printed off this picture of us and the girls. I got her some little pins because she is a mom boss. She runs a business. Got her this cute little mug that says you're my hero. These little flowers. Some bows for her baby girl because they're just so cute. A little notepad and a blanket. I just thought it'd be a cute way to say thank you. Bar is full of things for the shower now and it's time to go. I'm so thankful that my mom came the day before the shower to help us because I was already exhausted after this day, but if I would have done everything by myself, I probably just would have been laid on on the floor. That was too, too much for a pregnant person to handle. But I will say that the balloon kit that I got from Amazon, I thought it was going to be a really good choice because the balloons were double ballooned I guess so that way they'd be tougher and look better in pictures and all that it was a great idea but we ended up taking out the majority of the inside balloons which were black because they were really hard to blow up and really hard to tie I tried to help my mom tie some of them and I just couldn't and I'm pretty strong so I would not recommend the double insulated balloons but I do really love this kit the balloons were great but we ended up taking out the black ones because the top layer would pop 
And then you were just left with the black balloon, which was not a part of the color scheme I was going for. So I really like the kit, but if you get it, take the balloon, the black balloons out because it was not helpful at all. It was Megan's idea to kind of decorate the mantle with baby shower things or baby things. So I took down her family pictures and it's it felt so weird because we were in her house. I'm like, who are these people? <laughs> but I put up some things on the mantle, like a picture that I took in Moab, Utah of my husband's Jeep that I've got hanging in the nursery. So I just took that down and put it up on the mantle. And I also had a wooden Jeep and some tiny white Converse that are so cute. And then it was her idea to hang some twine along the mantle and use clothespins to put up some little uh, baby onesies. And it just turned out so cute. So my friend Megan and her husband Ruben own a mobile bar business called Ranch Water Events. They're located in Northeast Texas. So if you need somebody for a wedding or a baby shower or any kind of event, they are your people. I didn't get any shots of the bar itself, I don't think, but I might have them in my shower. It was a really busy day. But this day she had a margarita machine delivered and it ended up being perfect because she put orange juice on one side and cranberry juice in the other. And it was so good for this pregnant girl, y'all. And she put champagne on the sides for people that wanted to get boozy. And it was so adorable. So while she's cleaning up the margarita machine and getting that set up, I had Luxie do her little Target activity. I will highly recommend if you have something important that you're doing, like setting up for an event or literally anything that's super important that you have to get done and you're not going to be able to give your little one that much attention, Get them an activity that will take a while, that's minimal mess, but something that they can go back and forth doing. So she was ping-ponging between this and playing with Willow, which is Megan's daughter, and watching TV and just kind of, you know, running around. But it was very helpful because she just kept going back to it to do another page or another activity. Something that I learned from this event, I have thrown a lot of different events. I threw my gender reveal for Luxie. Um, I've done birthday parties, I've done just get togethers at the house, which require like banners and balloons and things like that. And I love hosting. But one thing that I learned this time around is to get some command hooks or command strips in bulk. So I'm gonna have to find something and link it on my Amazon storefront or wherever I find it because I will be getting it um, just to have in like my event stash because I always need them and I always end up having to go to the store last minute to grab them. So yeah, learn from me. Anyways, I do not measure anything. I don't know about you guys, but I will literally use my hands or any object around me to measure the distance between things to hang things up. If my husband was watching this, he would be so appalled because he is like very technical when it comes to hanging things. But I, however, am not. I can eyeball it and it looks great. I really loved this banner that I got. It's so cute and maybe I'll reuse it for his first birthday and kind of change some things around. But I love reusing and repurposing things and I feel like this banner was a great price. Back on to things that you need for hosting or entertaining. Plasticware or cutlery, whatever you want to call it. It is best to buy in bulk if you can. When I was looking at Hobby Lobby, their plasticware was so cheap, but I do not want to go to a party and break off my fork while I'm trying to eat something. I want the good sturdy stuff. So if you have like a Costco or Sam's or anything like that around you, I would highly recommend just getting a big box. You can reuse it for other things. And in my opinion, it's just worth it. So I used not that much of this giant box. <laughs> Megan had this super bougie idea to get bouquets of flowers and cut them up and put them in ice cubes for the champagne buckets next to the margarita machine. I'm telling you, her vision is just so great. So if you need somebody for an event, she is your lady. They also have a photo booth and they're just so much fun. <laughs> but all I did was put the water in, she put all the flowers in and I just filled it up with water and put it in the freezer. Looking good, Lala. <laughs> 
The circle arch is actually not mine. Megan borrowed it from a friend, but I'm going to find a link for this thing because I want one. It made the balloon arch really beautiful and just made everything come together. But we will literally sit and pick at a balloon arch for an hour, just making sure everything's placed correctly and looks right. And you know, the next morning, half of them have usually popped, but not with this kit. So I will say that these balloons were made really well, even though we took the inside balloons out of the majority of them but I really like this kit and I think that it looked so beautiful now it's time to set up this gift table so Megan had this collapsible table that I originally had a tablecloth on that I borrowed from my mother-in-law and then I decided to use a tablecloth that I had from my wedding that was white and then I put this cheesecloth runner on the center of it because someone borrowed it at some point and got salsa on it I tried really hard to get the salsa out but I just could not so I found a really cute solution with the cheesecloth and I know I'll be able to reuse it because the color is so neutral. I did get some confetti off of Amazon too and I threw in some extra little pieces like these blue baby bottles that I found at Hobby Lobby for Luxie's gender reveal like four years ago. So I reused those and I really love the confetti because it was a super inexpensive way to just kind of make things pop and make them beautiful. So I just kind of sprinkled it on the activity table too. So this was basically everything that I could do the day before the shower, everything else is pretty much food prep the morning of the shower so I have a diaper raffle with a jar to put the raffle tickets in and the gift card behind for whoever the winner is I also have a share your favorite family traditions little card write out so that way people can give me some fun ideas I do have a little page for people to sign in so that way I can put it in his baby book and then a late night diaper change station so people can write funny or cute things on diapers for those very early morning or late night diaper changes. I wish I could say, yep, that's everything that I did to prep for the shower, but it absolutely is not. When it comes to food, that's completely different. I had lists made weeks beforehand and I was picking up things here and there, but I did end up at Walmart at 8 p.m. to get some more cupcakes that we ended up not needing and I finally found the quiche that I wanted. Hello, beautiful people. I think I am now done shopping for the shower. Um, I'm so glad. I got this frozen lemonade from Annie Ann's. I love getting them from Walmart. <laughs> They're just like so good, especially being pregnant. And when you're hot, it's like eight o'clock at night and it is 85 degrees. <laughs> so the heat wave has now hit us in Texas. Tomorrow it will be 91, which is the hottest that it has been in a very long time. And of course the day of my shower. So it's gonna be super humid, but it's fine. Everything's gonna be perfect. And I think I'm done shopping and it's just gonna be a great day. So I may put me putting together the brunch board in the morning before the shower. But if not, this is the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it or it was inspirational or helpful to you. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and leave a comment on your favorite part or if you're pregnant and what you're having, what your baby shower theme is, I'd love to see it. I know that mine is super popular right now, but I couldn't pass it up. I was just in love with it and it went with the nursery so well. So yeah, but thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.